It's a pretty common occurrence in my household. I'll be trying to talk with someone and one of my children will interrupt and say, Dad, Dad, Dad. Or they'll go over to Michelle while she's trying to talk and, and they'll say, Mom, Mom, Mom. They'll tug on my shirt. They'll get louder and louder. I'll try to keep eye contact with the person that I'm talking to, but they keep going and going until finally I have to stop and tell them, please just, just wait. Easier said than done when you're a kid, right? But everyone can struggle to wait. I think we all do sometimes. Whether it's waiting for a dream to come true or for a promise to be fulfilled, maybe it's waiting for that one person in your family who's always late to finish getting ready so that you can go out. Waiting is just a part of life. Advent is a time of anticipation for the Lord. And though anticipation can sometimes make us excited, it also sometimes comes with anxiety and frustration. The prophet Isaiah was a preacher during a time of exile for God's people. God had judged the Israelites for their disobedience by allowing the Babylonians to conquer them and carry them off to their land. The first section of this book of Isaiah describes the judgment on God's people and the reason for it, but here in chapter 40, God wants to comfort his people and give them hope in his promises of restoration. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Now, if it's true that even young, energetic overachievers burn out if they work too hard or too long, what hope is there for those of us who are a little older who don't quite have the endurance that we once had? It doesn't matter, young or old, when you find the secret to endurance, putting your hope in the Lord. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Hope in God's promises of restoration gives us the endurance to run through life and not grow weary, to walk and not grow faint. I think about what life was like for those exiles in Babylon who spent 70 years waiting for God to bring them back home. That must have felt like forever. Like how it must feel for my children to wait for me to finally stop talking so I can ask them what's so important. Yet that time of waiting came to an end. God kept his promise. I also think of what life was like for those Old Testament believers who waited on the Messiah. It must have seemed like forever. In fact, 99.9% of all Old Testament believers lived and died without seeing the promise of God fulfilled but he still kept that promise. And someday you and I will have the perspective to say, it felt like so long, but God delivered on his promise. Until then, we continue to hope in the Lord, and the Lord will renew your strength. Will you join me now in saying together Luther's evening prayer? I thank you, my heavenly Father, Through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. Forgive me all my sins and graciously keep me this night. Into your hands I commend my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen.